So I, there's this video I saw online yesterday, and after watching that video, I cannot just help but just so much. A lot has been going through my mind. In my head, I'm like, what is this? Because seriously, what is that? I'm going to let you guys watch the video before I come to tell you what is in my mind. Because... I don't even understand if maybe it's a prank or something. <laughs> because um, well, that cannot even be a prank. I'll let you guys watch this video before I come and tell you what is in my mind. Just watch. As I was watching this video, the only, like, as I was watching this, while watching this video, one thing, the first thing that came into my mind, the first, before any other thing, I had so many observations, but the first thing that came into my mind is that this child is a time bomb waiting to explode. Like somewhere, somewhere, somewhere in a country, a child is being groomed to be a national terror. At this age, this child is behaving like this. What happens when this child grows up like 10, 15 years? Like, you know, think, what you know, think. This child is going to be a terrorist. Yes. If this child, a child behaving like this at this very young age, hey God, they, I pity people when they are around them because <laughs> the problem with this. How can a small boy of this age, this boy really fear me? This boy, and to think that this boy also attends school. And will definitely mingle with other kids. God. I mean, are they fear? I know that uh, this, these people, obviously, most of them subject their mates. And most of the mates they have are Africans. God. Africans. We like house. We like to. <laughs> Anyways, that's another story for another day. I can't even blame us. I don't know if you blame us because where we from fail us. That's why. If not, what you won't carry you, they go another man land. To go they collect this kind of insult, hum humiliation, molestation, abuse. What I want you to qualify what they happen for here. Of course. If 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 where we where is she day if they all right for her she not go move to go collect this kind of thing. I cannot help but like I am feeling so sad because because looking at it would have been it, I would have really really taken this this video to heart if it was an adult doing this to a fellow adult but a child picking where she go feel born. And they do this kind thing to her. All because of say she be made to her. Oh God. I don't even know what to say. First of all, I want to commend her for not reacting. Because the truth is, if she had reacted to this and maybe beating this child up, so that been a different story. I'm very sure there are CCTVs all over the house. The parents must be monitoring her, all of that. And if to say she lay her hand to hit that picking, 
Then for ah, that would have been the end of her. To be frank, that would have been the end of her. She kept her cool. <laughs> oh, my grace with that sister carry. I don't get them. Because I'm not sure say I feel keep quiet. I sure say, I sure say I for don't give and dirty slap. We go reset a brain. Because what is that? God forbid that I will be in her shoes. But seriously, if if they say maybe Nami did the way this, I'm not sure say I don't get that level of tolerance. I for don't give a dirty slap. Yes, he deserves it. Like two, like this, two. Because I don't know. In fact, at this point, I was trying to analyze to know maybe the child has a kind of disorder. But even doing get disorder. If you get disorder, that's why I need slap to make him in order. Because what is this? And even if the child doesn't have disorder, and maybe, um, yeah, she's working as a maid in the house, so she cannot, like, beat the child. Like, the child has to ask. You can do whatever you want to do. You can maybe spill um, tea everywhere. You can dirty the ass. Say, I feel arranged, finish, you scatter. That's understandable. I know I'm a maid. My job is to come and do work. If you scatter, I arrange. If You can mess the whole place up, but laying your hand on me. Hey, <laughs> I go flog you waiting no good. Last, last, I stop this work. Because what is this? And for the lady... For the lady, it's obvious she's an African. It is very obvious that she's an African, an African immigrant or something in a foreign country working. And I think that boy looks like an Arab child. I don't know for sure, but the boy looks like all this, you know. That lady that sat down to absorb all this kind of humiliation, insults, like i don't even know what to call this she needs she needs somebody to talk senses into her that's if she's still there because one day it might not end up with slap it might end up with something worse than what that child did to her she might end up with god forbid it might be justice for so 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 and so person god forbid but seriously that lady i know even if even if you are an orphan, like you don't get anybody for your life, go back to where you from come. Go back and drink Gary instead of that kind of whatever you are going through. Because obviously, I know that these people, that this kind of people, you don't mess with them. Like if you try it, huh? Maybe now you'll be sure with the PC the next day. So I know that's probably I feel like that's why she she was just absorbing everything. She wasn't saying anything. But sis, please love yourself. Love yourself. And this goes out to every other person, immigrant, any other person anywhere. Love yourself. I mean, yes, we are most of us we leave our countries, our comfort to go out there. Most people to go out there to a foreign land to like like for greener pastures and make a living because obviously it's always greener. It's always greener. It's always greener out there when it comes to like making money and all of those good stuff. But then, don't make it at the detriment of your own self. Love yourself. Because, see, this is modern day slavery. These same people that you were complaining that enslaved you before, you still took yourself there to still continue being their slave. Like, I can understand if you're working for them, it's different, but subjecting yourself letting yourself to be molested and abused like this girl you are a slave and like you 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 chase this slavery with your full chest you let yourself be a slave like this is it of course this is this is it it's a different thing that you're working for for them it's a very different thing it's a very normal thing myself if i cross 
bother today. Say I don't jack Any day I jack I wouldn't mind. A lot of Nigerians are doing these caregiving jobs, cleaning jobs, security jobs, and all of those jobs abroad. As far as there is respect to it, it's okay. I can do all those kind of work, nanny job, because the truth is that what a lot of people make abroad as cleaners, <laughs> hey God, what ni most Nigerians are making abroad as cleaners is even what our big, big or got them at the top here in Nigeria make in a month. So you can imagine, some people will say, okay, let me just go abroad and work for five years. That five years is enough to achieve everything that you would have achieved if you were in Nigeria here for some people. For your whole life put together if you work for your whole life for nigeria mm, the money the wealth you accumulate the property you accumulate working in this nigeria for some people though because some people are really making money here in this nigeria the wealth and everything you accumulate working here for your whole life is something you can actually get in five years if you move abroad and even work as a cleaner or something yes but even though even though no come carry me do yeah yeah because I come to work for you. Don't don't subject yourself to that. Don't even don't even, that kind of money is not what you want. So this sis, wherever you are, please love yourself. Love yourself. That's all I can tell you. I know that probably you are trying to do it because you're just enduring it because you have a target. Forget that target and move. Make you know the way you they pursue target, you know, go even get the target. We'll come here story. Last, last, nothing goes still happen. As in, I don't even understand. And that if that be key safe. When I talk this, that, Boko, this, 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 see that boy here is a time bomb waiting to explode. I pity the people that will be around that boy in the future. I pity them because that boy <laughs> is a threat, a national threat. Yes. Which kind picking be that? Which kind picking be this? Ah, oh, God! I mean, as in, eh, as in, I saw that video. I couldn't just. I was like, Are you kidding me? For Nigeria here, that boy, eh, he go now why he go need down from money tonight? They go flog and wear. He when he see the auntie next time, like, he go maintain. Do I know that some people, even in this country, let their kids abuse their head? Some people do it, but please, can we just stop? Can we please stop? Everybody is human. Can we please stop? Oh, um, that video is really disturbing. I can't even lie. This video is very disturbing. And whoever knows that lady, I'm sure that lady is not Nigerian. I'm very sure because with the way she was speaking, that I, I really don't know where she's from, but she's not from Nigeria. She's not from Nigeria, but um, wherever she's from, Anywhere she from, make her country people go rescue her because... Um, well, anyways, whatever. Whatever. This is my two cents. Please, I want to know you guys. If you were in her shoes, if you were in that lady's shoes, what would you do? Like, what would you do when this kind of a child is abusing, molesting you like this? What will you do? I want to know because for me, <laughs> what I go do? He did for my mind. I don't want soccer. Because if I talk him, it not go good. Because what the is that? Ah, oh, so annoying.